we've been following year seven. Awesome! Through the most important year of school so far. We're not here to have a laugh and a good time. We're here to learn. <laughs> With so many changes. New friends. Oh, yes, have you got a car? And new teachers. You are a Greenwood boy. It's been an exciting world to discover. Wow. Sometimes lots of fun. And sometimes a bit tough. With different challenges for everybody. We're in year seven, we're acting like three year olds. We rigged our school with loads of cameras. Is this what you see when you look for a camera? Because this is awesome. So you could find out exactly what happened. You're on report by my request. I'm Trev. <laughs> I used to go to school here, but now I'm one of the teachers. Last question, because you're going to run out of time. Welcome to the finale of our school. I need a week. The arrival of summer means the first year of secondary school is almost over, and so much has happened during the past ten months. Today on Our School, we're going to look back at the highs and lows Instant detention. of Year 7. Yes! But first, no end of year would be complete without a talent show. <laughs> the acts have been rehearsing for the past eight weeks and now it's a chance for the confident and the not-so-confident to show us what they've got. Welcome to the Year 7 Talent Show! Our judges, who you might have noticed, Miss Crover, give her a round of applause. Mr French. And Miss Richardson. They've all got a really difficult job this afternoon. They've got a tough decision to make. Waiting backstage with the huge responsibility of opening the show is Taylor J. I'm feeling nervous but excited. Taylor's no newcomer to the spotlight. Outside school, she's a keen member of her local drama group. I do singing, dancing and acting. you never brought me flowers. With so much experience behind her, Taylor J is one of the favourites to win the talent show. I enjoy it when I'm on stage. I'm just me. I'll just let out my voice. But even for someone so full of confidence, this performance in front of all her friends, has given Taylor J some last-minute wobbles. Let's welcome our first act this afternoon. Oh, I'm so scared. I was nervous, my heart was pounding. Um, I couldn't breathe. This is Taylor J! was just amazing. She just kicked off the whole performance and I think she was just great. She's a confident singer. She doesn't care what anyone thinks about her, she just gets on the stage and tries to enjoy it. What a fantastic start to this show. That was absolutely tremendous. I hope I win, but, like, when it got to the high note, I went a little bit off. I don't think anyone noticed Taylor J. That's a tough first act to follow. Next into the spotlight is Sam, who first set her sights on singing in a girl band. I'm freaking out. <laughs> But in rehearsals, I discovered singing wasn't her only talent. Is that a made-up dance? Yeah, pretty much. Whoa! Oh, well, got 10 feet. Shouldn't I be throwing money at you? So Sam decided to sack the singing and throw everything into her dance routine. It was like really fun, like it made everyone laugh and happy, like and cheerful. 
It was wacky, mad, but it was good. I go on too many dates. When I first went on stage, I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do this. But then I realised everyone was, like, staring at me. That's why I ran off. Sam's been fantastic up to now. The reason we came to stage was because there'd be too many people were staring at me. She's, she's pulling herself together backstage. She's all right. Don't worry, Sam. Just take your time. And it feels like I am just too close to love you. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's up to Spencer to keep the show on the road. He's won two talent shows at primary school and the crowd are loving his performance. When Spencer got up there, yeah, loads of girls were like, oh, I went out with him. Like every single one of the girls, I think it was, yeah. Let's hear it for Spencer! Well done, mate. Spencer, you've got such a, an amazing fan club here. Um, there were about 50 people filming that, so I think you're going to be an overnight sensation <laughs> on YouTube. Well done, Spence. It was excellent. Well done. Mr. Richardson? Waiting nervously, Sam is trying to pluck up enough courage to go back on stage to try again. Nerves got the better of it. But I know you guys in Year 7 are going to really, really blow the roof off now to welcome back onto stage Samantha! Come on, Sam! She might have been a bit shaken, making a swift exit first time round, but can Sam now perform her full dance routine? I see I'm too late. Got nothing in my brain. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. She came back on and she started doing the same. But I can't make you stay. She came back on and started dancing. Which is even more like brave of her. Well done, Sam. Looks like you did shake off those nerves after all, and the crowd loved it. Miss Richardson, how brave is Sam coming back out? I am just so impressed and so happy that you came back out. You epitomise everything that we look for in young people. You know, sometimes things don't go entirely to plan, but you overcame that challenge and you did just an amazing job. Well done. Well, let's see one more time, everybody. Sam! I felt really proud because I got back on stage. She did get slightly nervous, but for her to come back on stage just made me very proud. I'm glad she never gave up. Brilliant performance. Up next, Amira waits anxiously in the wings. I'm shaking a really bad, I don't want to do it. <laughs> OK, and next up we have Amira. It's no surprise she's nervous. Amira's more comfortable studying hard at home than standing on a stage. When she was dragged along to a band rehearsal, I was surprised to see she had real potential, so convinced her to sing solo. You've got a really nice tone to your voice, really strong. But when it was time to rehearse in front of an audience, nerves got the better of her. Amira. No. Not yet? No, not yet. Why are you going scared? I can't sing in front of these people. Why? <laughs> they yeah. anymore. It's now or never, Amira. Time to see if you've worked out how to control those nerves. Come on, Amira! 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 I can take one more step towards you. Cause all that's waiting is a granite Don't you know I'm not your ghost anymore I lost the love I love the most I was surprised on Amira sang because she's not one of them chatty people, she's more of the ones that like... Teams. Quiet. Yeah, very quiet and shy, but it takes a lot of guts to get up on the stage and perform in front of so many people, which you've done. Let's hear it for Amira! Yeah. That's a loud cheer! I'm absolutely blown away. That was an absolutely stunning voice. 
Well, Amir, I think um, you're a real contender for this competition. I think everyone would agree. Um, you've given us a really difficult decision to make here. I thought you were amazing. Well done. Brilliant. Let's hear it for Amira one more time. Thank you very much, Amira. I felt really happy uh, as soon as I finished because at the start of your seven, I wouldn't have thought that I'd ever be able to sing in front of the whole of my year group. Next up, it is the Elite Cheerleader! Come on, guys. Come on. The cheerleaders have devoted months perfecting what they hope will be a show-stopping routine. But as they take to the stage, one vital person is missing. Well, I've twisted my ankle while playing dodgeball in PE. Just hours earlier, crucial team member Tamar had been forced to pull out. Like, everyone that's in cheerleading, they're, they're all moaning and that because like, I'm the only one that really knows how to hold Coral. I'm the tallest and the only one that can actually hold a wave properly. And we were just thinking, oh, trust it to happen to us. It's a devastating blow. With key lifter Tamar unable to take part, will the remaining cheerleaders be able to pull off their finely rehearsed routine? When it came to the lift, I was feeling a bit nervous. I thought I was going to fall and hurt myself. Phew! That's one lift out the way. So far, all appears to be going well. But... And the girls hold it together for the closing lift. <laughs> the cheerleaders have finished on a high. Let's hear for elite cheerleaders! Stay here, girls! Hey, Mr French, what do you think of that? When you've got so many people on stage and quite a confined space, it's really hard to coordinate all of your activities and everything you're trying to do, but I thought you were really good. Excellent. Let's see one more time for the cheerleaders. Well done, girls. With everyone loving the act so far, it's time for the last performance of the show. This girl's had some nerves, but is coming out to sing for us all, and I know you're in for a real treat. Finally, it's Shannon's turn, and she has a very personal reason for wanting to be on stage. It's quite a depressing song, but I'm dedicating it to my passed away brother. That's why it means so much to me. Just before starting Year 7, Shannon's disabled brother, who she helped to care for, sadly died. Well, he, whenever he was upset, I used to sing to him and he used to calm down. and It, it was literally just like a magic spell I cast over it. I'd sing to him, he'd fall asleep. Losing her brother made starting at Greenwood difficult and she struggled with her lack of confidence. So, going out and singing in front of a big crowd will be a massive challenge. I'm, I'm pretty scared because I don't usually do this sort of thing. Like, a really shy person. I, I can't deal with the fact that I might mess up. <clears throat> and, like, I'm really scared that, like, if I mess up, everyone's going to make fun of me. And, like, I'm just, like, really scared about getting on the stage. This is Shannon... I was shaking on the stage and I was so scared. I could like feel my heart beating, I could hear it.
I've never heard Shannon sing, and when I heard her sing, I was like, whoa! It was like a very big shock to people because nobody knew she could sing like that. She's got such a good and powerful voice. Her voice really shocked me. I was like, that came from Shannon. She really looked quiet in real life. I didn't know that she could get up there and sing like she did. I finished it, it's like a feeling that you're never going to forget. It felt like I was showing everyone my full potential and what I can do. I know for a fact that I, I, I can't, no one can take that away from me. Miss Richardson! Wow! Is that it? Yeah! Wow! Speak over! Well done, that was absolutely brilliant. Fantastic, Mr. French. I, I genuinely think you could have a career in singing, that was just amazing. Wow! Shannon, let's hear it for one more time! They've overcome their nerves and put their heart and soul into their performance. But who has won this year's talent show? OK, the winner of this incredible talent show is... Shannon! <laughs> Shannon, She's a really good singer in that, and she deserved to win it, obviously. When I got off that stage, all my friends were backstage, literally, and all of them just hugging me. And then my mum and dad came round, and they kept on saying they were so proud of me, and, like, that just made it feel even better. Well done, Shannon. What a way to end the school year. One, two. Ten months ago, 150 nervous newcomers walked through the doors of Greenwood Academy to embrace a whole new life at secondary school. It's been a busy year of challenges and new experiences. From school trips to Shakespeare plays. From healthy eating Pig's feet. to outdoor sleeping. Too cold. Way too cold. And from sporting goals <laughs> to starring roles. What is it like to experience autism? You kind of learn to live with it. There have been so many great achievements. You're nearly at the end of year seven. It's been a good year. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. To celebrate those triumphs and bring their first year at secondary school to a momentous end, there's just one final event. I know you have had some amazing experiences throughout the year. Um, and you've got one more to come, a Year 7 award ceremony. The end of year awards have got everyone thinking about their first year in secondary school. Honestly, secondary school looked so hard when I first started, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to make any friends, and I'm going to be the odd one out. And as soon as I started and I saw that there was people thinking the exact same as me, at the start of the year, um, I didn't know anyone. I was like really shy, didn't like really know anybody and didn't talk to people. We all knew that we felt the same. We was all scared, we was all nervous, we didn't know what was happening, so we all just kind of stuck by each other. At the start of the year, I thought it was going to be hard, but then, like, I started fitting in and then I started to, like, it started to get easier, you know. It's good, really. And it's easy as well, so that's pretty good. It's not easy. Year 7 isn't easy. It is but you'll be able to get through it. Yeah, you'll be able to get through it. Year 7 has been the most challenging but amazing thing I've ever done. I've done some stuff that I didn't think that I could do. It's been tough, it's been a good year though. Positive year. I've grown a lot in confidence because I've met more friends. I've grown as a person. Now it's come to the end of year 7. I know where I belong now, and I think my friends are all on my side, and I know what I need to do, and I know who I need to be. It's been really awesome, Year 7 now. 
One of the best years of my life, I reckon. The scene is set. The awards are waiting, and Miss Richardson is keen to celebrate Year 7's big achievers. We've had our ups and downs since September, so it's nice to remember all the good things and make sure the kids know that I have been watching all year. So have we. And the first award recognises someone whose sporting achievements have put her head and shoulders above the rest. OK, the first award, rising sports star of Libby. Come on up, big round of applause there. Yes. Libby battled off close contenders for captaincy of the girls' new football team. I think I would be a good football captain because I'm even and let everyone have their say. Then she went on to successfully lead the girls in their first football match. She's an all-round sporting star who's shown she can really kick it. Well done, Libby. OK, round of applause again for Libby. I feel quite proud of myself for winning the award and like they've all said to me that I'm a good captain for the football team. Libby definitely deserves that award. Although she's short, she packs a punch. For her to be picked for the football team as well is, is incredible. So well done to Libby. Since starting our school, we've seen lots of our students all helping each other whenever they can to make the most of their first year and settle in. The next award is for two students who Miss Richardson thinks have been particularly helpful. OK, next one is most helpful. Charlie and Lucy, round of applause, please. Thank you. When they said my name, I felt a bit surprised and I was just shocked. I think Charlie really deserves this for his work with Issa. Night, flight, fright. Night. Before coming to our school, Issa had never been to school before in his entire life and didn't speak a word of English. Imagine how tough that must have been. You, I, you. But Charlie quickly stepped in and has been by his side ever since, helping him settle in nicely. Good. I'll take him. I feel really proud and I think my mum will thank it because of it, because I'm never usually this good in school. But uh, I'm really proud. And Lucy or as she's known to her friends... Big, friendly giant. She's a class superhero. Nothing. Always on call. OK. There to protect... Lucy! Sorry, you got mom. And willing to help. She looks after everyone, cos everyone goes, Lucy, help me. Put the name of it and then the colour together. I was really proud of the award and I felt really, really, like, chuffed about it. Thank you very much, guys. Well done, very impressed, well done. Being at secondary school isn't just about work in the classroom. There have been plenty of after-school activities and trips to learn more about the world outside. Some students in particular have taken this a step further, working hard to help those outside of school in need. And one of them is up for the Most Charitable Award. And the next award, Most Charitable, Casey. Big round of applause for Casey. She's done an awful lot. When I won the award, I felt happy because I actually won something and I didn't think I was going to. Please buy one of my cakes! Casey is so good at raising money for charity... You're saving the children! ..she can even do it in her sleep. In January, she was one of a group who slept out all night to raise hundreds of pounds for the homeless. I feel quite bad for homeless people like when they're like, there every night and every day. She's done so much throughout the year and really puts in her personal time after school in so many different events. So well done, Casey. Keep it up. This year has been one of momentous achievements, producing some shining stars. And to end the ceremony, there is one very special award for the most inspirational student. OK, and yeah, finally, most inspirational. Now, I don't know if some of you actually remember when Lee actually stood up here and did his entire assembly, OK? That takes an awful lot of guts, OK? Not everyone is as confident as myself. So, round of applause for Leo. Leo, please come up. <laughs> well done. Really, really proud of what you did that day, OK? What you did was really great. Leo is autistic, a condition not many of the class knew anything about. What is it like to experience autism? To help them understand what it's like to live with autism. When you first know that you've got it, you don't really understand what it is. Leo made a film about how he deals with his condition. No, none of my friends used to understand me. None of my teachers. No one. 
You should understand yourself. And presented it to the whole of Year 7. Just because I have ADHD and autism doesn't mean I need to be treated different to anybody else. That assembly that I did with the video was very inspirational. It was brave enough to put the video on the um, screen and show the whole class. Leo really does deserve that award. He works so hard on making his video and actually showing how he really feels is a very, very hard thing to do. Do you want to say anything, Leo? Thank you for this award and the assembly I did that was really hard and I was actually really scared before I did it. Well, I think you've spoken really confidently today, so well done, Leo. For someone who just a few months ago would never have stood up in front of the whole year, it's a huge triumph. Massive round of applause, guys. Well done. Well done, Year 7. I'm very proud of you all, and you definitely deserve all the awards you've been given. So now, let's go and party. Miss Richardson's reward for all of Year 7 is an end-of-year disco. You've all successfully made it through your first year at secondary school. So what advice would you now give to anyone starting in Year 7? Right. I'm going to give you some tips. When you first start Year 7, you've got to listen. Be yourself and make friends. Don't let anyone get you down and then make new friends. Be polite, be prepared, don't show this all the time and do make, and do make the most of it. Don't be like, afraid of anything because it's actually not as bad as you probably think or have heard. Be positive, keep your head up and don't be scared. Always be kind, good, show good attitude and always Always be the person that will go and help someone. Do your work and mess about a bit. No, don't mess about at all. You want to be good? Keep a crit. What's that? Uh, the advice that I'd give to an year 7 would be to believe in yourself. And if you think that you can't do something, um, it's most likely that you can. That's it from our school. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Best of luck for Year 8. I love you all. Um, the best thing about secondary school is, like, you can take in your phone and go on it, even in lesson, like, I never get caught. When I'm texting, like, my dad will <laughs> going to get caught now. <laughs> for teacher watching this. <laughs> I'd tell my best friend, Vanessa, that she's very pretty. She's got an ugly smile and, she, and she's got dodgy teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and her smile's like this. <laughs> <laughs>